This 111 has a snapped off back right leg, and their front right knee also won't fully extend. I'm guessing whatever damaged the back leg probably snapped off a few gear teeth on the front knee at the same time, but it's also possible something completely unrelated is lodged in there. We'll find out soon. I'm going to pull the legs off and go ahead and replace this joint. Um, I'll test the wiring too. It's not super uncommon when the legs break that people aren't super careful and the wiring harnesses get damaged, but if that's bad, we'll replace that too. Unfortunately, this dog was not handled super carefully, and the main connector going into the upper leg assembly from the hip has been ripped off of the flexible circuit board. There's no real easy way to solder that back in place since it's a flexible circuit, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace the entire upper leg assembly with a new one, and then since a large amount of force has obviously been put on it, I'm going to replace the wiring harness too since I don't particularly trust it to be reliable long term. So I've gone ahead and replaced the broken hip and the wiring harness, but one thing worth noting on this dog is that one of the previous owners tried to glue the damaged hip joint, which glue and ibos do not at all mix. Anytime someone tries to glue something, it always ends up breaking again, it's just not going to hold. It ends up causing more harm than good, which you can see it ended up seizing this bearing to the output gear, which means that even if the wiring harness was good, I couldn't reuse it, it has to be replaced. That bearing's not supposed to be stuck to the gear. It's now onto the front leg. As I was expecting, there were a couple gear teeth broken off that ended up jamming the whole thing up. But unfortunately, those actually broke off of the knee joint itself that's attached to the upper leg. So I'm going to need to get another leg out and pull some donor parts off. Now that the new knee joint is in place, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble both legs, and hopefully that's the end of it and there's no other hidden damage. Alright, now that both the legs are back together, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick test for functionality, then I'll put them back down on the floor and let them run for a little while to test the legs a bit longer.